Hey guys, today we're gonna be doing uh, just a quick overview of uh, how I resolved my issue as far as uh, wanting to upgrade the hard drive on my late 2011 MacBook Pro to a solid state drive. I used this solid state drive which has very good write and read speeds, silicone power. I also have that on my, on my desktop as well. Uh, it's a very uh, reliable so far. I've had it for a couple years and now we're trying this on this MacBook Pro. The read and write speeds are exceptional. Uh, now what I wanted to do was use the current 750 gig hard drive as a backup drive. So what I did was order a Caddy uh, converter. Uh, it's called a Caddy adapter for MacBook Pro. They're fairly all the same. It's got the same exact shape and size except the inside's empty. So what you do is you plug in your old hard drive in there and uh, then you just screw it on, fairly simple. I put it in place of the CD drive so I can no longer use the CD drive, but they're becoming obsolete anyway. You can make bootable flash drives now, so no need for this, and uh, takes off a little bit of weight from it too, I guess, since the solid. Actually, no, it doesn't. <clears throat> but anyways, what I did was install the, uh, I installed the solid state, I used this, now this only works if you already had it in there. This was already inside, so was the solid state as the main uh, as the main uh, drive. So what I did was use this program right here. It's called Carbon Copy Cloner. You get a 30-day trial. Uh, you want to install that on a working MacBook first. So what you want to do is when you restart your MacBook, you're gonna hold down the Option key, and then that lets you choose from different bootable drives. So then you use your original drive, the one that you have in place with this uh, converter, this adapter, and uh, once you boot into it, then you want to go through Safari, download that uh, Carbon Copy Cloner, go through the settings. It's The interface is fairly simple. The first one, it lets you choose the hard drive you want to copy, so you choose your operating system, and then the second one is where it's going to be, so then you're going to choose that hard the solid state drive and then that's it you just press clone and it transfers bit by bit from one drive to your solid state drive and then it also asks you a, a, another option which you want to click yes to which makes it bootable so when you press uh, option key when you restart if it shows up on that screen your, your new solid state if it shows up on that screen it means it is bootable so then you're good to go to wipe your old drive. So what I did was after I knew that all, I let it all finish, I went on that, restarted, and now I'm restarted with my solid state. So you can tell the response time is a lot quicker. It was very slow with the hard drive. So I got that and then uh, how fast it responds. The solid state makes a big difference. So my Mac OS is the 240 gig solid state drive and then I got the backup drive a 750 gig. So now all my programs I can choose to run it off the backup which would be slower because of the read and write. So all my main programs like full office and everything I'm going to run off this solid state drive just for quicker response time. But all my music, everything else that's in iTunes. I have a folder labeled in my backup drive. So every time I play music on iTunes, it refers back to this backup drive because that's where they're located. Um, but yeah, this program made it very easy for me to uh, convert from a hard drive to a solid state drive and uh, hope that it helps you guys as well.